Three weeks after Sony's PR nightmare when its PlayStation network was hacked, the Japanese company is set to woo back consumers at the opening of a video game expo in Los Angeles. After Sony president and CEO Jack Trenton offered his apologies to the crowd, he unveiled the newest collection of games. The most anticipated announcement of the event, though, was for the new handheld gaming device called the PlayStation Vita. The Vita is set to compete with Nintendo's DS and handheld and handheld gaming on smartphones. It will go on sale for $249 or 299 for a 3G mobile version. The new console is set to hit the market during the holiday season at the end of this year. Sony also plans to integrate Android-capable devices into its network to expand its target group. And this is the first opportunity for me to personally uh, address uh, everybody uh, and discuss it a little bit. Which brings me to the audience that I'm most interested in addressing and those are our consumers. You are the lifeblood of the company. Without you, there is no PlayStation. And I want to apologize both personally and on behalf of the company for any anxiety that we've caused you. We have packed so much technology into the device, uh, whether it's the front and rear touch panels, the front and rear cameras, the OLED screen, um, and the dual analog sticks, all these really combine to make a compelling, enriching gaming experience that really can't be enjoyed on a smartphone or a tablet.